Remember the unhinged Verstappen that wanted to headbutt reporters? Or that annoying kid who wouldn't let anybody pass him, even if they had a world title? Well, he's him now. A boring world champion in Formula 1 who just races and wins if the car doesn't break down. He's really well behaved these days, on track and off track, and it's your fault. I'm Wimbo, here's 3 seconds to leave a like. Max Verstappen was only 17 years old when he made his debut in F1 driving for Toro Rosso. Since his first race there have been many rookies. I can't believe that was 9 years ago. None of those new drivers made the impact that Max Verstappen had on the sport. Especially the media put their dirty claws into him, trying to rip him apart every chance they got. The first thing they thought was that he was too young. It shouldn't have been allowed. So the super license points got changed and the minimum age went up to 18. Then there was his driving. Where drivers nowadays barely put up fights against drivers in quicker cars, young Max Verstappen never made it easy for anybody to pass him. And if they did, if he saw a chance, he'd pass them again. He didn't care for his tires, he just wanted to race. A few years later, at Red Bull, when he kept moving when Raikkonen was trying to pass, many people were angry with him, including the usually calm Kimi himself. No rules said it wasn't allowed, so they wrote one. They called it the Verstappen rule. That was later changed again, but still, Max was fearless and did whatever he wanted. It didn't make him popular though. The British and the F1 media all piled up on him for not driving like normal rookies. Soon he had the reputation of being a dirty driver. I obviously never agreed with that, because he was always trying to race, rather than trying to take somebody out. Something that other big drivers have done in the past. He did get into crashes that should have been prevented. But he was inexperienced. I see a certain English driver crashing three times per season and they never call him anything. I always wondered why they were so harsh for a rookie, especially one so young. He showed amazing things too, like scoring 49 points in a Toro Rosso in his debut season or winning the Spanish Grand Prix in the first race he ever drove for the Red Bull team. It's like they had a score to settle about him being young, as to say, I told you so. In 2018, Max Verstappen was a little frustrated as he felt ready to fight for a title, but the car wouldn't allow it. There were a few incidents in a row at the start of that season, and he was pretty much destroyed by the media. There was an incident with Vettel in China, and there was a crash in FP3 in Monaco. Then a nasty reporter asked, why he had so many accidents. And he said he'd headbutt someone if they kept asking these things. In the following years, the results on the track became more and more consistent and the incidents were less and less. Of course, there were still things for people to be offended about. Like that time when he called Stroll and a steward a Mongol. Even though that's a very common phrase in Limburg where he's from. Like the Mongol. So he had to apologize because of course you can't say that live on air. It's better if nobody ever says it. Let's be clear about that. But then again there's a lot of things that people shouldn't say but still say it. I remember an incident where he was asked what he thought about Ferrari being a lot slower after the Ferrari fuel hose scandal. And he said, well that's what happens when you stop cheating. <laughs> Even the Ferrari president was angry about that, even though the whole paddock thought exactly the same thing. And with every incident, there was a huge backlash and opposing fans at Sky Sports F1 making a fuss about him. So he started to change. He doesn't say too much during press conferences and interviews anymore. I suppose he matured. He does get worked up in the car when things don't go the way they are supposed to go. But it's usually between him and GP. And then 2021 came and all of a sudden he was in a title fight with England's favourite driver. The driver who can do no wrong in the eyes of F1 media. That season had a few boiling points too, to say the least. Especially after the Silverstone crash where Hamilton was penalised with a 10 second penalty, things got heated. Verstappen used strong language the next race when a journalist asked a question that both he and Hamilton had answered the whole day the day before. Some people thought the pressure was getting to him and it would cost him points. But on track, he never lost his focus or composure. Some of you might say, What about Jeddah? He was a lunatic there. I see that differently. He was defending a lead in the standings with a car that wasn't quicker or equal anymore. Hamilton? had the quicker package by then. 
he had a flexible wing that was permitted till the end of the season. This was a deal with the FAA because Red Bull had a similar wing earlier in the season and they were allowed to develop a new wing which took a few races too. And Hamilton had a spicy rocket engine. Mercedes had let Bottas drive his engine at full blast in previous races to see if it would last. Hamilton had a new engine in Brazil and zoomed past everyone on the straight. Took him a bit longer to pass Max though. Both fought hard, Hamilton gave him space, Verstappen took the space and that was that. Ok, back to what I was saying about Jeddah. So his over aggressive approach was deliberate and he was trying to push Hamilton into a mistake. And credit where credit is due, Hamilton did not falter. F1 Twitter was a war zone again and English pundits were very emotional about what they saw that day. Max Verstappen received a lot of bad press again, although he did get driver of the day. So people must have enjoyed the hell out of it. In the final race, Max Verstappen won his first title. I think enough has been said about that race. There was maybe one aggressive attack which Hamilton countered by cutting the corner. The next move from Verstappen in lap 58 was successful. Max was the champion and that pleased the haters even less. Enter 2022. That season he drove majestically and fought valiantly with Charles Leclerc. The young hungry lion that once was Mad Max was tamed and he lost his edgy side. He won the 2023 season with even more wins and even less bother. And that's where the complaints started coming about how boring the sport has become and how dull Max is. All he does is drive his F1 car and his sim. He doesn't do fashion shows or charities. He stays away from politics because he's focused on being the best he can be on track. Well, I think Verstappen was made that way by all the negative press he had to endure. He has a PR manager, no doubt. And he probably tells him what to be careful of. And I think it's a crying shame. I miss the unfiltered Max who was laughing at Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen who were crying over the radio about him. I think fondly of the time he and Bottas had a scrap and Verstappen was penalized. Max just would not let Bottas pass and he didn't care that he even dropped the fourth place keeping Bottas behind because at least he crossed the finish line first. So all these people that bashed Max Verstappen for everything they could find are crying now that the sport has become so boring. It's all their own fault and if you belong to that group, f*** you. I'm hoping that next season the grid gets refreshed big time with a bunch of rookies in decent cars that hopefully take a page out of Young Verstappen's playbook rather than do what he was pushed into being now. The sport needs that impulse. We content creators need that action and storylines to make our content about and hopefully we can be kinder to a fresh rookie that shakes things up. The sport needs it. If you made it this far, please subscribe. Take care now. Doei doei.